Wow, here I am uh, between two amazing pieces of equipment. Uh, the Inga team storage inverters, uh, A and B, I'll explain that in a minute, and the Pylontech Force H1 and the X1, which is a, basically a cabinet system that allows you to put in the, the high voltage batteries which connect in series. So we've got um, four of them in here. It gives us a, a 200 volt stack. You can get up to five in this cabinet. So 250 volts, two and a half kilowatt hours per battery module. So with four of them, we've got 10 kilowatt hours of storage there and almost 10 kilowatt hours of storage here. Now, what we've done is really fascinating. We've combined these two together. So um, this inverter here, inverter A, uh, is connected to a microgrid, but it uh, doesn't really use it for sourcing energy, only for exporting surplus. Both of these have uh, four and a half kilowatts of, of Longy Solar connected. Um, this inverter, inverter B, is connected in series. Well, technically it's still parallel, but basically the, the, the uh, load output of inverter A feeds the grid input of inverter B, and inverter B then supplies via a contactor a dedicated circuit for an EV charger. Now the idea here is during the day these two batteries can charge up easily with about nine kilowatts of solar collectively across the two inverters um, and then when the customer comes home in the evening with their EV and plugs in they can discharge 20 kilowatt hours of energy uh, at night time into the EV and not a drop of grid power. So basically it's going to disconnect the EV uh, at the end of the discharge cycle and not use any grid power. So there, were, there you go, it's a way of um, storing uh, surplus solar and using it for your EV at night time. Anyway, that's all from Glenn Morris here at the Smart Energy Lab.